and welcome to Centro, everyone. I'm Yadiris Nova Salcedo. So happy to have you with us. The 2019 Greater Boston Walk to End Alzheimer's is right around the corner, and we want you to be there with us. The Walk to End Alzheimer's is the world's largest event to raise awareness and funds for Alzheimer's care, support, and research to give us the latest information on Alzheimer's and to tell us about this year's walk that's taking place on Sunday, September 22nd in Boston. Boston. With us this morning, it's its chair, Josh Obeter, and its senior manager, Melissa Shirtcliffe. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning. dear. I do want to say, and our our viewers are probably saying, what's wrong with Yadires? I have no voice. In the 23 years that I've been here, probably this is the third time that I have no voice on Central. So with having said that, welcome to Central. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so much, much for being here. I'm very excited. And I know that you guys are. The walk is right around the corner. What can you tell us, Josh? Sure. So the walk is taking place Sunday, September 22nd at DCR's North Point Park in Cambridge, where we expect over 5,000 people to come out to share their enthusiasm for this cause. Yes. And what we're really there to do is to show that, you know, you're not alone. Yes. Uh, there are many, many people that are caring for people living with this, this disease, people that have lost people with disease, yes. with this disease. Yes. And it's just a, a wonderful showing of support that, yes, we can end. And yes. Alzheimer's once and what for I all. What I notice is that throughout the years, would you guys agree that so much more awareness is being done regarding Alzheimer's? It's all over. You guys are doing such a wonderful job. Talk to us a little bit about what you guys do, uh, Melissa. Sure. So the Alzheimer's Association is really there to help support families and provide care and services to families that are impacted by Alzheimer's disease. So we have a 24-7 helpline that's available for yes. families that people can call for whatever the reason may be um, to answer questions, provide information, resources, um, or just be there for somebody to speak to. We have care consultations where you can sit down with licensed uh, social workers to really come up with a care plan. Yes. We have educational programs to help educate not only the general public, but caregivers and those living with the disease, things like financial issues, legal issues. Um, we also have support groups and early stage engagement programs you for those living all. with the you disease. You cover it all. It is amazing the work that you guys have done throughout the years. And not just that also, you've been doing it in other languages, including Spanish. For instance, to come to Centro, you definitely make sure that you have a Spanish uh, spokesperson. So important to get to the Latino community. I understand obviously 5 million people have also Correct, Josh? Yes, absolutely. Yes. Um, it's, it's a disease that is the sixth leading cause of death right now in the United States, and yes. it's the only top ten killer that does not have a cure or treatment available. So okay. um, we really, really need yes. to uh, increase awareness so that we can end it. So let's talk about how we're going to fight it. We want people to go to the walk. I want to personally invite people. I'm very excited. I'm going to be your MC this year. Thank you so much for the invitation. Again, I want to definitely tell our viewers, please come to the event. It is such a wonderful event. I've talked about it for the last couple of years here on Centro, and this time I'm going to be part of it. So thank you so much. It's going to be exciting. The mayor is going to be there. What else is going to be happening there? So it's a, it's a really great day. We'll have lots of uh, different activities going on. There'll be live music, um, children's activities. People bring their whole families. They bring their pets. Uh, we have a doggy area. Um, and the walk is something that everybody can participate in. We have a one and a half mile route and a three and a half mile route. We have music along the, the route. So it's just a real great day for people to come out and enjoy the beautiful day and the community um, coming together. And you guys have been blessed, can we say? that because the weather is always perfect and it will be perfect this year again yes, right so we definitely want people to come who should be coming everyone everyone um, you know the Alzheimer's Association you'll see the flower garden when you attend on the day and you'll see people that are living with the disease caregivers who are currently providing support to those living with the disease yes. people that have lost a loved one to the disease and people that are just advocates because they know that this is a national crisis and that they, they want to be part help. of it. They want to help. So I know that you mentioned the beautiful garden. We're looking at it right now. It is beautiful. For those people who don't know, these flowers have meaning. For instance, the one that I'm holding in my hand, the purple one, just means that I lost someone to Alzheimer's, correct? Yes. And then we have the orange one. 
The orange one is for someone who is not currently impacted by the disease, but wants is, to help, wants bring to help. awareness. Mm -hmm. And then the yellow, I'm a caretaker right. of someone with Alzheimer's. And then the blue, I have Alzheimer's. Mm -hmm. Is that what it means? Thank you so much for coming by. Again, we definitely want to invite our viewers to go to the walk. I'm very excited. And I know you guys are. You're always excited because every year you guys keep doing more and more and it keeps growing and growing. So congratulations uh, to you guys at the Massachusetts New Hampshire uh, chapter. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Idiris. For more information on Alzheimer's and the 2019 Greater Boston Walk to End Alzheimer's taking place on Sunday, September 22nd, you can call 1-800-272-3900. You can also get a direct link to their website and their social media pages visiting us online at cbsboston.com slash centro like always. You can get more information on today's show and our past shows. You can watch both the English and the Spanish versions of Centro. And we also want to invite you to connect with us on social media. That's on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And that will do it for this week's Centro. I'm Yadiris Nova Salcedo, inviting you to step forward to a very you. See you next week.